Hey Capricorn, so my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing, Guidance, and Tarot. This is going to be a hidden truth message in love, okay? So this could be something that's hidden that you have absolutely no idea about, something that you're potentially thinking and just need some reassurance or confirmation on, or maybe you need some guidance. Let us see what is going on in love. Hidden truth for my Capricorn spirit. <clears throat> Hidden truth and love for my Capricorn. <clears throat> you need to speak your truth about something. You need to clear your throat. Okay, I feel like everybody that I'm doing today, there's a reason for that. I always group people together according to whatever <clears throat> the message is. So no surprise there, okay? Let us see what's going on. <clears throat> Some of you may also have Aries on your chart, so you may want to check out that message as well. Alright, Spirit just made me say that. <clears throat> Alright, let us see what's going on here. Alright, so we have the Knave of Pentacles. I feel like somebody is coming towards you and they're coming towards you very, very slowly. So in your mind, they're not coming towards you at all. You see no physical progression. But I also feel like some of you may be doing candle work here to try to make something come to pass. The challenge is getting you outside of your head, okay? I feel like you keep having devilish thoughts, aka negative thoughts, okay? Because to me, the devil is just simply a vibration, a lower, lower lower vibration that we can lower <laughs> ourselves to okay so that's what i feel here i feel like the challenge is getting up out of that energy all right yeah but you're being guided towards happiness here with the sun so look at that holy shit you're being guided towards happiness here this is amazing fruitfulness abundance good health also i feel a great sex life with somebody okay so you are actually manifesting this person whether you realize it or not i feel like something with someone else though needs to pass okay because we have the death card what i mean by that needs to end need to it's a doobie with pins it's a wrap it's over it's done up okay whatever you want to call it um but there's some relationship that you have that needs to end in order for this other one to start and i feel like that's the hesitation with a lot of you okay I also feel like, too, this can just simply be the, the transition of a mindset for most of you because of this eight of swords position and where that's at, right? So let us see what's going on. Yep, we have temperance as the potential outcome or the outcome here, given that you follow the guidance that you receive intuitively, as well as following all of the synchronistic messages that you receive during the week, month, whatever. Okay, you following that, you're going to get your temperament, meaning you're going to be balanced, doing everything in moderation. And like I said, this person is coming to you, but they're coming to you slowly, step by step temperament you feel what i'm saying so let your mind change and transition and choose to see the positive of things okay now let us go around one more time this is a positive message positive message so let us see uh, like i said some of you may have aries placements because notice my throat is super clear now but when i started there was a reason why my throat was still like that and i had throat issues in the aries video too and i told them i wasn't like that all day okay so some of y'all may have aries placements go check that out so we have the five of swords here in reverse exactly some of you are feeling defeated by not seeing the physical results but spirit is saying in all actuality things are working out i also feel like some of you may be dealing with a um um, uh, um, cancer scorpio or pisces i feel scorpio really heavy for some of you and i feel cancer really heavy for others okay pisces and eh, they're in there but i don't feel that energy as strong okay let me see what's going on with this sun card yep we have the three of pentacles this person everything that they're telling you they mean okay i also feel like for some of you this person may be at your job maybe you're not seeing you know uh certain interactions with this person but you're at work so would you expect this person to, to be all over you i mean that's super unprofessional so just let things be what they are you know what i mean you and that person have y'all little glares or whatever it is while y'all there and then when y'all not on the clock whatever happens happens type of energy okay i do also feel like i said for a lot of you it is letting one relationship uh um pass so that you can move on to this next chapter and phase into your life okay because the hierophant is here in reverse so this is like somebody's already dealing with a karmic partner or dealing with a soulmate connection that has expired okay either or and let us see what's going on with this temperance energy Ooh, we got the um 
Ace of Wands here. Okay, so a lot of passion, a lot of desire between you and somebody. Like I said, you're with a soulmate, and now you're about to be with your twin flame. Okay, or you're with a karmic, and now you're about to be with your twin flame. This is that type of energy here. Okay, and then we have the Justice here in the middle to clarify once again this Knave of Pentacles. Okay, and the reason why it's in reverse is because, like I said, this person is coming towards you very slowly, and because you don't physically see it, you're like, nah, that's not happening. But notice, you had the Sun here as your guidance what spirit wants you to focus on and then your potential outcome as the ace of wands you see that fire that passion that sun energy that desire for each other right so trust it and then we have what the empress here at the bottom wow as the underlying energy this is a love card for those of you who did not know so this person is definitely making their way towards you in this way if you're doing any love work it's working okay whatever you want to call yourself doing it's working okay now let us pull you some <clears throat> guidance cards See what we can get for my Capricorns. Guidance for my Capricorns. And one more spirit, please. Guidance for my Capricorns. We have retreats. So some of you may be going away with this person reassess some of you may be going away with this person or scheduling to go away with this person and because you're not seeing certain things happen in the physical you're thinking about changing your mind overthinking so get out of your head that's energy i feel here see it says look forward look forward to this trip look forward to whatever it is y'all supposed to be doing okay oh and then we got a flyer here and it says count your blessings okay excuse the chair <laughs> so yeah count your blessings okay what else do we say accept what is dying so some of you have like i said a relationship that needs to fizzle out so that you can enjoy this new one and take the lead if this person is not going to break up with you because i feel like some of you are trying to get that person to break up with you if that person is not going to break up with you then you break up with them period that then we have be here be of service here as the underlying of energy so there may be something that you guys are thinking about contributing to in the community sidebar um spirit is saying go ahead and do that okay so that was a sidebar message. But if it resonated, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not, my love. Peace and hair breeze.